All right, give us a moment, and I'd like to kind of know about your, you know, informal bio. Kind of give us give us a little idea of what you've done in your life for for work and what's lit you up. And that you've got a book. I know you've got a podcast. So give us some of the, give us some of that. Okay. Um, in my first life, I'm a math teacher, priced real estate, and. As you age and get a little bit older and get a little bit wiser, as I got into rite of passage, as I got more interested in different religions, I grew up Catholic. Um, I dropped down from here to here to mm -hmm. the heart. And what I mean with that is, is being willing to perceive energies. Mm -hmm. You know, well, people talk, but are they meaning what they're saying? Or are they just saying it because one says that? And so that also plays into working as a life coach uh, with people. Not having them repeat the story over and over again. But dropping down and saying, wait a second, there is a shift in energy when you said that. What is going on here? Mm -hmm. And that allows people then to go get out of their story and drop into what is actually going on. So I've, I'm a photographer, as you said. Uh, I got invited by a poet, actually, for... Uh, my first book, which was a collaboration, where he either dropped me a poem and said, find the right image, or I submitted images to him, and he wrote poems for those images. So that was a real interesting experience. And then I developed a technique, being curious, uh, of in-camera creating in camera a mandala by using that special technique I developed. And then as a sudden, I felt the need to write a book and it was, I almost got dictated, uh, the, the text was dictated to me. I just sat down and I wrote. And then I had the fun of saying, okay, this goes with that image. Nice putting the, the book together, it didn't work with Amazon for some reason, uh, not going into that. But a friend that I had shown the a misprint, she said, no, that needs to be physical. So I did some more research and found a place to publish it reliably. That's what this is called. The uh, that second book is uh, a different road perceiving possibilities, and in a way, it fits with what I'm talking about at the <laughs> TEDx event. Nice, nice. All right, so you're currently doing rites of passage and life coaching. Still, is that something you're still doing? Yeah. Uh, actually, yes, I'm doing, and I'm f uh, shifting the focus even more to offering. Uh, rites of passage because it is so important for yeah. me yeah. and it giving people an understanding of the what how a transition unfolds can take the fear that comes up with oh things are changing what am I going to do it gives them an ability to relax so it feels important to me